let's redo that. Hey guys, it's Alex, and I recently did a poll on my Instagram saying which video you would like to see worse in it first. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> hey guys, it's Alex, and hi, how are you? Um, uh... hey guys. Hey guys, it's Alex, and I recently did a poll on my Instagram, which if you don't follow, it's linked down below, and I asked you guys which video you guys would like to see next, a palette review or an everyday makeup routine, and the one that won was an everyday makeup routine. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you an everyday holiday glam makeup routine. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time, so I always, around Christmas time, love reds and golds and greens, so I'm just going to show you a quick, everyday, full face glam that is going to be super fun. And this video is also going to feature some products from Patrick Star's MAC Holiday Collab. I am so excited. This is the first like Patrick MAC collab that I bought because this, this collection just spoke to me compared to the spring one. I'm not really into purple. The first one I just was broke. So, oh my god, so I'm going to be so Lola. So if you guys want to see this everyday holiday, everyday holiday, so you guys want to see this everyday holiday glam makeup featuring Patrick Star's MAC collection, just keep on watching. Anyone else remember that? I had a grape. So sad. It's all your fault, you bad dad. First thing I do first is the eyebrows. As you can see, I don't have eyebrows. And I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. This is in the shade 4.5. And then I use the 24 Hour Brow Setter by Benefit just to set the front hairs in place. And then, I take the NYX Color Correcting and Concealer Palette, and I take this shade on the bottom right here, and I use that to just clean up the tails. So I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows off camera real quick, and then we'll get into the full face. And my favorite primer recently is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. I don't know why I like this primer so much, it's, as you can see, it's almost empty. It's just such a good primer. It just smooths out the skin really light and nicely. Nicely. And lasts all day. Foundation, I'm going to be using the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. And this is in the shade 30 Sand Beige. And I have been loving this foundation recently. It's super nice and super full coverage. And it's just really nice. It just evens out the skin really nicely. It's really good. It doesn't stick to any of the dry patches or anything like that. I'm kind of hunched down up here. Sorry about that. I'm going to blend it out with the Equate I think that's what this is, just a flat kabuki brush here. And if you see me looking this way, my mirror's right here. Next is concealer, and I'm going to be using the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, and this is in the shade C1. It's really going to highlight that under eye area here. If you guys don't know, I love a highlighted 
under eye. Just to set my under eyes, I'm going to be taking the Fit Me Maybelline powder in the shade 05. And I just use this on my under eyes again to brighten it up even more because this has color to it. And it's so pretty. I love this powder underneath my eyes. And I'm not baking, I'm just pressing that powder into the skin. And it's really just gonna highlight that area. I know what you guys are thinking. Looks a little crazy. But you'll see it all just, it all, it all comes together. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be going into the Patrick Star MAC collection. I'm gonna be using a Patrick's powder. And this originally launched with the first collection, but I was broke at the time, so I couldn't get it. So I went to the mall this morning, today, it's Thursday, and I bought it. This is cute little puff. Let's get some of this powder out and see what it's all about. That rhymed. So I'm going to be using the sponge first and setting the areas where I get kind of oily, which is just my chin. So now I'm going to go in with a Morphe brush. This is just from the Red Collection. It is stained. And I'm just going to dip my brush into this powder and set the rest of the face here. Including sweeping under my under eyes so it just brushes any of that extra powder away. I love how this powder is looking. It's setting it down really it looks like everything's like smoothed over. My skin just looks really smooth. Like, really smooth. I approve of this powder. Um, I spray my face with some setting spray. And I'm just going to be using the Catrice Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. Just to lock all this powder in place. So now we're going to move up to the eyes, so I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit more. Priming the eyes, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. We all should know this is my tried and true. has a big hole in it now because it's just that lovely. And then I'm just going to set the primer with Wet n Wild's Brulee Eyeshadow. I've gotten really back into using this to set my primers. So to start off with the eyes, I'm going to be using the Sir. I don't want to butcher this name. This palette by Juvia's Place, which I don't I'm going to butcher the name. I'm going to be dipping into this brown right here called Katsina. And I'm going to be taking that on a Cara K17 brush and just blending that throughout the crease. Now I'm going to dip into the shade Jamila right here, which is just a oops, Jamila right here, which is just a darker warm toned brown. I'm going to take that on the same brush and just deepen up the crease. I'm just going to add a little bit of warmth. So now that that is blended out, I'm going with the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place as well. And I'm just going to take this super dark brown right here in the corner. I'm just going to blend that into the outer V using a Morphe brush, which has no name. And it's a very warm toned chocolate brown. Like I said, I'm not trying to bring the eye super dark. I just want my eye to still have some dimension. So now I'm going to go in with a Beauty Treats, Beauty Creations, sorry, uh, RC14 brush. Just dip back into that brown just a little bit and blend that outer V into the crease.
just so it's a seamless transition. So now I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm just going to blend that chocolate brown onto the lower lash line and I'm just going to use this fluffy brush from the Supernatural collection and just smudge it on that lower lash line and really smoke it out. You don't have to do your lower lash line as smoky as I do mine. It's just something I've always done even when I just started getting into makeup. It was a very smoky lower lash line. And I'm just connecting it in with that outer corner just so the eye is like a seamless roundness. So now the star of the show. This pigment. This is once again from the Patrick Star MAC collection. This is kind of a first impressions kind of thing too. And this is the shade Oh My God. And it's this beautiful gold. The camera does it no justice. It's this beautiful like champagne-y silvery gold. And it's beautiful. And I'm first just going to spray the pigment with some Fix Plus and apply it straight onto the eyelids. And if that doesn't work, I'll put down like glitter glue adhesive, but I'm so excited. Like the camera can do this no justice. It is beautiful. And to apply this, I'm going to be using a Morphe M167 brush. Oh my god, it's like the most perfect gold, like there's so much, there's so many different like variations of gold in it that it should not just be called, it's oh my god. Like there's a reason why it's named that. And all I'm doing is taking Fix Plus and spraying the brush, dipping it directly into the pigment and then just tapping it on the eye and oh my god. Uh, get this pigment it's beautiful oh my god that's most beautiful pigment oh my god I'm just gonna blend that into that brown eyeshadow in the outer corner just so it's not like a harsh line oh my god that's beautiful next I'm gonna take this highlighter by colored rain this is in the shade selfie and I'm just going to highlight my inner corners with it. And again, this is a gold highlighter. I really want to focus on the gold in this look. I'm also just applying just a little bit underneath the brows. I'm not going to do a winged eyeliner today. I'm just going to line my waterline. And to do that, I'm going to be using the... LA Girl Perfect Precision Eyeliner in the shade Very Black, and this is a really good pencil. So next I'm going to apply mascara, and I'm just going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex and the Benefit Roller Lash. These two together are heaven. But now we're going to move on to contour, and a contour I'm going to go into my Morphe Z palette here. And I'm going to take this bronzer by NARS. This is in the shade Seaside. Right here. And we're just going to bronze. Oh! Oh! It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. See? It's fine. Contour makes everything look better. You have terrible eyeshadow? Contour. Your foundation's looking like shit? Contour. You look like a potato? Contour. I'm also, I know this is a shock, I'm gonna add some blush. I don't usually like blush, but might as well. I'm gonna be using NARS's Orgasm. Just the tiniest amount on these cheeks. I really, I don't wear blush that often. And when I do, it's a very neutral color. 
So, just a little. Just a little. So, for highlighter, I'm using the Anastasia um, Amber Amber Easy highlighter. And this is the most beautiful highlight ever. It just looks so wet. And it's weird because when I first bought this, I was like, there's nothing on the brush. And I'm just like digging into it. It's like, you need the littlest amount. Because it doesn't look like there's anything on the brush. But then you put it on your face. And you are just, oh my god. Are you just dying? it's so pretty and literally it's the littlest amount because you don't think there's anything on this brush and then you go to apply it to your face and you're like holy shit y'all know I bought some of Patrick's lipsticks I bought two of Patrick's lipsticks here I have the shade slay ride and spank me Santa And this is the shade Spank Me Santa. It's a beautiful nude. So if you're not much of like a red lip person or like more every day a nude, this is a beautiful. But I want to go all out. So I'm going to wear Slay Ride, which is Patrick's beautiful red shade. But first I'm going to line my lips with the lip liner. Oh yeah, Patrick. This is literally my perfect red lipstick. Oh my god, look how gorgeous this is. I love MAC lipstick in general, so I know I would love this. But, to finish it off, I'm gonna apply some gloss. And this is again from Patrick's collection with MAC. And this is in the shade Twerk for Gifts. And I'm just going to apply this in the very center, just to give my lips that kind of like, pout. And lastly, to finish off the face, a little bit of setting spray, I'm using my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Oh my god, I am in love with Patrick's Christmas Collection from MAC. Oh my god, it is so beautiful. Like, look at this. Look at this lip. Look at look at that pigment. Oh, like, oh my god. It's gorgeous. This concludes the everyday holiday makeup. Like I said, if you don't want to wear red on an everyday basis, feel free to throw on the nude. I did show you the one of the nudes from Patrick's collection. And yeah. Check out Patrick's collection because it is amazing. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. We've had a couple new people join the family recently. So hello, I'm Alex. Welcome. And yeah. Comment down below if you would like to see an eyebrow routine video, makeup storage, whatever video you'd want to see, comment down below. I love seeing what you guys love to see on my channel. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. It's Christmas in Hollywood. I want some toast. I bet you do. Please add some jam and butter too. We're out of grape. So sad. It's all your fault, you bad dad. Bye.